it's another, another, another beautiful day with a beautiful person. Um, the genesis of this show, you know that Camilo is somebody that I love so much. And I'm not even going to be biased about it. I love him. And I love him because of his talent. And now he's been able to produce one of the biggest songs in Africa. It's made waves so much, even till today. I'm going to be having a conversation with the man himself, Camido. Let's welcome him and let's start talking. Mrs. Say the for Bosu. Nah, top boy. You know, yeah. you know. <laughs> anyway, how have you been? I've been good. How have you been? Very good, very good. Mm, mm. Yeah, we me be me a cost of five, five, five. It's different for me, okay. You say the only for the first now in the own. Dabi. See, but I feel it was that she said, I made him in the first now with the spoon. I did not want to pay Diana. I said, David, not inquire yes, she too much. And I didn't want to try my name, you know. David, me, my missy, and yes, she won me. And no, yes, she won't. You're my never better. Anyway, how has life been? Very after good, after very Sugar good. King? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, prior to that, we used to talk and all of that, and all of a sudden, I'm like, Oh, where's my boy? I can't find him today. He's here, tomorrow he's here. Yeah, and I'm yeah, yeah. so, so proud of you. I'm Thank so you. happy. Anytime I see you, I'm like, that's my boy. You're yeah, doing yeah. so well. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. How has life mm -hmm. been after Sugar Cane? Um, there's still Sugar Cane, so it's not like... <laughs> really? There's still Sugar Cane, so... Uh, life has always been good. Right, we thank God. Right. Thank God that we're healthy. Mm. We're just doing what we love mm, and all of that. Mm, so, mm, yeah, mm. so far, so good. Like, yeah. it's been really cool. Okay. Yeah. Recently, I saw one of your live band performances. I don't know which song it is that you were performing, but I'm sure it's a new one. Right. Because, I don't know, can you, can you yeah. remind me? Slow. Yeah. Slow, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, called yeah. Slow. Yeah. And it features magic. Mm -hmm. So, aha, yeah. uh -huh. so the one that they've been playing, yeah. This time around, you know that now I have a baby, so they're catching up, no? it be like, you know. Oh, yeah. I, 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 didn't, small, I didn't, didn't hear of that. Which one? I you, that one, you later. We'll talk okay, about that okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, let's talk about, I, I realized that when you released Sugar King, there's been so much traveling for you on yeah, your Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been all around the world. Mm -hmm. How has that been? I haven't been to Asia though. So you go there. I mean, I, I, oh, you know they believe. Oh no, it's cool. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, go there. <laughs> but oh, it's been cool. It been? Like for me, I I've always wanted to travel around the world. To mm. be honest, because I wanted to. Any, any to young, cause it's yeah, hobo, baby. Yeah, Dabi, yeah, Dabi, Dabi, like uh, I wanted to be a pilot. Okay. You know, so and obviously, like as a pilot, you know, you'll be traveling, flying all around, around the world, world and all yeah, that. So yeah. music is literally doing the same thing for mm, me right now, mm. and so I'm just happy, you know, to see. But do you still have um, plans of pursuing? Your yeah, probably not the commercial one, but maybe like me and my girlfriend would just like be in our private jet and just fly, like be chopping love in the air and all of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it'd be like you'd be levels, but well, that's good. So that means you're not going to do it, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't think might... I would want to because I'm loving like where I am right now, like right. with the music and all of that. So you don't see yourself. Probably retiring from music, maybe in the next fifteen years. Let me just say. To be honest, Do you see to be retiring? honest, like uh, to be honest, I can't see past even ten years, bro. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. unless I can't see past that. To be honest, like okay. no one can actually. You, we can only like. We can only us. plan, but you know, sometimes <laughs> yeah, it no one can really see past train. that. You know, okay. so yeah. Okay. I see. Um, <laughs> God might even just come tomorrow. And, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? God just go come tomorrow and all the dreams. And, but basically, like, I, 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 I love, like, planes. Mm. I love, like, I have, you know, passion for that. So mm. maybe I'll just, like, study for, like, private mm. or, you know, personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm. not for commercial. Not for commercial. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm hoping and to I see that. And I said, baby, now, upesel corner. <laughs> but I think sir, it's, it's a good, um, you know, it's a good dream. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you tend to do it. Now, let's look at some of the shows you've played mm. after you release Sugar King. Mm. In as much as some of us who knew you and believed in your talent knew, say, you will get there. But it was just a matter of time. And now I can, I can boastfully say that, look, you are there. Yeah. All those are still, of, of course, yes, you want to achieve higher heights. But I feel like now, no, you are being put on shows that, Ebianka, 
five years ago, no, the, you were and can you mold in crowd or button? No, oh, Let me let's see, let's talk about how sugar cane, how, what impact has it brought to your career? Yeah, um, kind of like gave me a global um appeal, okay, you know, um, mm. pretty much like people around the world know mm. that there's mm. an artist called. Camido, Camido right. because of sugar cane. Yeah. What else here? Mm. Um, let's see. Midanya may I say. Okay. Um, yeah, that, I think. That's, you, it's giving you a global appeal because mm -hmm. even in Ghana here, yeah. you know that when you release one of my favorite songs of yours, which is um, the one you had with Darko Vibes. Yeah, for my lover. Yeah. Majority of Ghanaians actually thought you were Nigerian. Yeah. And even till now, people, people still, still tag you and it's fine. as that. Yeah. Why is it fine with you? It's okay, like, because um, my goal is to represent Africa. Mm, mm. You know, for me, like, it's still, Africa is still the country. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's okay if somebody thinks I'm Nigerian, somebody thinks I'm from Benin, mm, <laughs> you know, from mm, whatever. Mm, mm. Like, as long as it's Africa, I don't have a problem you with it. You don't have a problem yeah, with that. Because, you. yeah, we are just, like, brothers and sisters. But we are one people. Do you understand? Yeah, I So, do. it's okay to be, like, referred to as a Nigerian or Togole or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. But people say that, you know, I'm, I'm sure, say, as a musician, you know, you've heard this a lot of times. People try to say that now. Why is all Ghanaian artists trying to sound like Nigerian? I don't really get what they mean by that. Mm -hmm. But since you're a musician, I'm sure you've had such criticisms, right? Yeah. Why, why do you think people say that? Um, I asked somebody one time, I was like, what is the Nigerian sound? I see like quality. And I'm like, okay. So, okay. <laughs> so okay. answer yourself. I you know see. what I'm saying? So if I'm striving for quality, uh, you know, it's not a in bad my, thing. Yeah, in my products, then it's not a bad thing. So mm. if you think that because my music sounds really great and that the quality of my music is really great, so you, and so you think that that makes me sound like sounds Nigerian. But is that really a fact, though? It's really not. I don't know what people, everyone with their opinion. Okay. Mm. But mm. for me, like, if I show you my passport, it says Ghanaian. If I go to Nigeria, like, I have to feel, you know, all, mm. all these mm. forms. Mm. If I go to any other country, so except Ghana, mm. do you understand? So, that tells you that I'm Ghanaian. But mm. if you think that maybe my products, because of my products, you are labeling me as a Nigerian, that is just your opinion okay. because it's not a fact. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Like, I'll always make music and however it sounds, it's still like my mm. music. Mm. Mm. But if you mm. think that your opinion says that it sounds Nigerian, that's just your opinion. Yeah, and right. it doesn't change the DNA okay. of like the of, music. Of who you are. You know what I mean? All right. I, yeah. I used to say they're brand. I said, I said, I said, <laughs> oh, se, se mi kot UK in some. What you say? It's not just a bro. Kaka, 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now let's talk about, obviously, then again, whilst you're talking, Sugar Cane is going to be coming up because you yeah. and I know that it's one of your biggest songs. Right. I know that there is Definitely. more to come. Yep. It's just one of them. Yep. I know what you're capable of. Now, um, Sugar Cane, was Sugar Cane designed for a specific market? Mm -hmm. No, I made Sugar Cane for the world. Like, just as I made, Camilo, or you know I make what? all my other songs. Today, mm -hmm. when they were playing this latest one. Yeah, slow. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. I said, Camilo loves to sing about love mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. I want to know, how? Where? Because I know you are still single. Mm -hmm. Unless it's changed. No, nah, it has changed. Like, I'm not single. Can't you see something why you're fussy? Ah, on himself, oh, a girl, a home I said, on himself, oh, soon to me, mommy broke your heart. But, I mean, what I'm... I'm very like... What you're saying, you... And if you're not a girl, you're not a girl, you're not a girl, you're not a girl. What's your name? She's a elective treat. See, and you're elective treat. You say, you're not a girl. What you eat and sleep? And not a girl, you're not a girl. What you sleep and eat. Okay. Why would they eat while I sleep? Oh, you don't know say they eat. This, my mother said if they give you food in your sleep, don't that, eat. Is there which, it's witchcraft. Witch, <laughs> it's witchcraft. <laughs> it's witchcraft. So don't no, eat. No, this one sleep. I'm talking about uh, physical. It's yeah. not where you are sleeping in the dream. I'm talking okay, about. You are trying to talk about sex. Of course, yes. So I want to just say. No, so I'm speaking tree. Sleep on a woman. Simple. Oh, okay. So the one that you eat in the kitchen is then the one that you sleep on a woman and eat too. Okay. Is sorted. Well, yeah. Okay, that's good. Now it's just because I'm an like I'm an honest individual. Yes, and I you don't have like to lying. Be. You like don't you. lie. Oh, but so oh, but you why? I want to be honest <laughs> with my fans. 
So I'm always honest. I mean, it's good. It's good to be honest. What I'm arriving at is I'm trying to find the inspiration where you write these songs from. Because you listen to it and for someone who is celebrating love or something, listening to your song, it means so much to the person. Yeah. I mean, you've had songs where it was one of the biggest songs that we used to play at weddings. The one with the video that you did like a wedding. Yeah. I've forgotten the Dance title. with you. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. So you write really good love songs. I want to understand where does that, you know, motivation come from? Um, I think a little bit of that also comes from my growing up. Okay. You know, I grew up around a lot of ladies. Like, I grew up, you know, where there were a lot of, like, ladies mm. and then, you mm. know, love yeah. stories and here and there. And mm. I was also raised by a single mother, mm. you know, so much about love, you know, to be told. So I, I, I have, like, all of these inspirations kind of, mm. like, embedded in me. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And then... That's just my nature. Okay. I can't do something that I'm not inspired, not to, do, inspired to do. not inspired You know, so okay. I always make music that I'm inspired to do. Not mm. to say that all the songs are love songs. Like, I feel like my subsequent releases will tell, you Oh, know, yeah. Even like, this previous me, EP, the one that has... Hot Pursuit. Me, yeah, right. that's not a you love know, song. You know, I have stories that I want to tell. But obviously, it's, a, it's business as well. So you want to yes. also make sure that, you know, um, you yes. milk the music or the market a little bit then you speaking can, of milking mm, mm. this sugar cane song you really milked <laughs> i don't even know if there's still more juice in the song again you really <laughs> milked it because we look at the remix that came mm -hmm. and then i think there are other versions of the song right yeah. and it's all on your ep yeah oh i see yeah yeah it's all on the sugar cane ep mm. we did a whole ep for sugar cane oh Okay. Yeah, we did a so Spanish is it, version. So, is it the market that demanded it, or you felt like, look, since I say, I think, say, maybe say, I know that yeah, you are not in comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Like, mm. it's all, because it's like it, it became a global mm, mm, song, mm, mm, you know, um, yeah. that you also want to translate it into. It's just mm -hmm. like, um, shout outs to Yemi Alade. I remember right. when she did Johnny. Yeah. Um, she did it in French as well mm. because it started appealing to the French um, community and yeah. then, you know, you might as well just want to sing it in their language just so they can so prop, they proper relate, you know. So we did that in Spanish, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, like, it's just, it's just a way of um, broadening the scope of the music. Okay, yeah. I see, I see. That's brilliantly done. Now, before you released Sugar Cane, mm -hmm. I know that you are an artist that, you actually met with some of the TikTokers mm -hmm. to promote Sugar King. Yeah. First of all, why did you decide to take that route? Um, number one, like I always see every social media platform as a marketing tool. Okay. That's what they are to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. You know, aside all the fan mm -hmm. and whatever it is, like who checking me Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, like I barely like will post something about myself eating fufu or at home, like something that's casual. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's almost always about the music. Okay. Do you understand? Because that's the only place that people can chance on me. Mm. So for me, I just realized that I just saw the tendency of TikTok like, you know, in blowing the record. Because I realized that the, the number of people that patronize TikTok in a day, right. if I put my music, if I promote my music, if they, I use the influencers to promote my yeah. music, then, you know, you can, at least half of those people will chance on your music. Mm -hmm. So that's what I decided to do. I just okay. like, you know, I paid, okay. literally paid the okay. influencers. So that, would you then say you buy into the idea? I think one of the TikTokers, uh, very influential, what's the name again? I think Asantua said something like, she said, you know, you know, I'm fan by TikTok for when you only will for penny bit here. Would you say you buy into the idea that they are capable? That is throwball. For me, it's like throwball. You can, you can say that, she can say that because probably she gets a lot of people coming to her. So she okay. thinks that it is that's only dependent okay. on TikTok. But that's a foul talk if okay. you ask me. Okay. I'll tell you why. Um, what TikTok can do, Instagram can do. Okay. What Instagram can do, Twitter can do. I remember one time, like, someone was like, oh, we can only promote the music on TikTok. We can't promote it on Twitter. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, Twitter has as many people as TikTok. Yeah. So, yeah. and all of these people also, a bunch of them are on they Twitter. They are both on they are So, both it just depends on how you ship right. the marketing campaign. Yeah. And then it works. Mm. So, I remember there are some songs that would do well, like, would be blowing up, like, um, there's this guy, um, Sion K, 
Black Sheriff. Yeah. Later sensation. Mm. You know, he, he blew up literally on Twitter. Yeah. If you see what I'm saying. So that's I will not totally agree with what Santiwa is saying. Okay. TikTok has the tendency of blowing your record, but mm. it is not just TikTok that Dependent. can blow your record. You know, it, it brought it really spark up a control. Uh, yeah, you know, I saw that on social media where like, people were saying. So yeah, are you telling yeah, us even yeah. prior to TikTok yeah, yeah, there yeah, were yeah, yeah. songs that were still it's, trapped, it's funny. You know, it's going funny because everywhere. TikTok can come and go. So are you, now let's let's let me just ask her a question in this sense. Okay. Like, okay, so should TikTok not be a platform that exists anymore? Mm. What will she be doing? What's your relevancy? Do you understand? Yeah. So you don't feel like if you speak like that, and it only means that because everything comes and goes, mm. especially like when it comes to social media or mm. whatever it is, mm. like everything comes and goes. I so mean, I think 10, 15 yeah, years they ago, they they was they, they are of great importance to marketing, mm. Mm. no doubt about that. But not to say that is artists can only blow source? through okay. TikTok. That's okay. far talk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now let's come to Afrobeat. Now you know. Do you do you realize that a lot of the rappers nowadays? They try to sing as well. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Just to yeah. compliment. But for you, you are a singer. I know you do a little bit of rap. And I'm a rapper too. Like, I'm a great rapper too. Like, I'm a great rapper. No but we cap. know you for like, singing. Yeah. So, so no, wait. This thing Like, that people, this before you knew me, mm. before you knew me, before you got, got to know me, like, people knew me for rapping. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, I remember I've listened to some of your records. Um, there was this one. Is it motivation? I checked. <laughs> yeah. Those are old. I like, used to old. rap. Like I used to rap. Like I used to be a so rapper. So why did you stop? Um, I just thought, you know what? Maybe I wasn't getting inspired to rap anymore. Okay. And it was like it was a lot of work. Like, yeah, it was a lot of work because you, obviously, if you're rapping, people want to listen and be like, this guy had. Charlie Bass and uh, all of that. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you don't know and you say some nonsense, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll say you're a banku yeah, rapper. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, but you know, you know, know with singing, that. you can get away with it with because singing, of the voice. Yeah, with singing, you can get away with things. Mm, like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, mm, yeah. I see. So now let's look at the Afrobeat scene. We have a, some rappers trying to do, you know, singing as well to make the song commercial mm -hmm. and all of that. Now, for you as a singer, yeah. well, and a former rapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, being one of the, should I say, one of the recognized people in Afrobeats mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to Ghana and Africa mm -hmm. beyond. What, how has that influenced your writing? Because now, I think Afrobeat is taking over. Yeah. If you, if you, Unim Bayaji, and some years ago, near Wahai, to me to say, Beyonce, really, the album B, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. all over Ghana. Yeah, but now, yeah. it's not like, Chale, it's yeah, like yeah. they are not even getting the chance to penetrate like yeah, before. Yeah. How has that influenced your writing? Has it made you more like, focus them you pay particular attention when you're writing now no, i feel like for me the inspiration the the main inspiration i i get from afrobeat is yeah. like embracing who you are mm. do you know what i'm saying afrobeat is literally just like highlighting who we mm. are as mm. africans right that is what afrobeat is about mm. so if you can pronounce the word as um tomatoes mm. say it as tomatoes don't oh. go and say tomatoes because you're trying to sound like a white person. Okay. Tomantos. And export that. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I it's do. like embracing this is who we are. That's this how I speak. This is right. how we look. Boom. And go as you are. That's what Afrobeat mm. is like literally preaching. So okay. for me, it's not about making me reshape anything, but it's also just like re inspiring me to like mm. really embrace everything that i am like okay. i don't i don't omit ever in my music oh i was just you know about to you just took the word and right that is the me. african How in you, me you always yeah. make sure say you yeah put ever in every almost 100, all your songs 100. that you have it's because you you okay well you yeah because somebody's like oh you know um i think i put out a record i put out kaba mm. and then people people were like on my case it's like oh you should have sung the song entirely in english that's what pushed sugar cane blah 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 and i'm and i'm like i'm back and i'm like okay look these people were like sitting down singing macho on your now without even thinking that it's like they were singing ever <laughs> do you know what i'm saying so because the guy has dropped a new one should it catch fire like sugar cane and mm -hmm. kaube said, hey are you going to echo mm -hmm. but because probably like it's not as sugar cane then you're acting so, like yeah, oh the you. reason why it wasn't like sugar cane I can tell you for a fact when I put out sugar cane, like it wasn't really like big. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. like just doing normal numbers, yeah. you know, until whatever happened, God's happened. hand or whatever it was happened, and then things started to spark 
people were saying what they were saying about the market. Mm. Do you understand? So in Tino and Coffee or what I then a blow pen now must that yeah but yeah analysis. Ah wait and I blow you, wait and I blow you. But don't you think Do you know it's the job of other people to also create because you know that there are people that uh -huh. actually make a living in uh -huh. a career yeah. as critics. But that's calm though. Food cri no wait, as food critics, uh -huh. music critics and all of that. They are paid and some of them are multi millionaires elsewhere. Yeah. America. Yeah, it's it's so it's so you'll be yes, you wouldn't creating an industry is scam. Mm. Like it's 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 that if you think about it, the whole illusion, like it's scam. How how be, if you think about it, they call our industry show business, right? Mm. Or showbiz, right? Mm. So it's literally somebody who you, you, there are people that you see like sitting and wearing glasses that look like Professors. Louis Vuitton, uh. but it's not Louis Vuitton, <laughs> and, and they're wearing Which sneakers wearing that look like you? look like <laughs> They're wearing things that look like diamonds. diamonds. That's actually not diamonds. And then it was like, hey, a close car. You get me? Mm. And then people start to see them like that. Okay. It's show business. What you show is what like people start to like Buy build mm. perceptions. Okay. So then it's all illusion. Okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, same way, food. If somebody should come and sit down and eat, oh, auntie, na 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 na, watch it and say, huh, what you need the pie? What you? I can tell you, it's so healthy. Another person go eat. The thing that they sweet you, but you are forced to eat it because they say it be healthy. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's all like that's what I'm saying. That everyone can say whatever they want to say about whatever it is, mm. but it's all opinions. Okay, does that it's make never sense? Never a fact. Facts, no, dear. It's that about means, the creator. Yeah. You created a thing, you can tell me that I put like um, five grams of this in that, and that's the fact. Okay. But the person tasted it. Like my my photographer was telling me, I say I'm going to Yankasa me call call yeah a Tom Brown or me fear me cheat a brownie a soya beans. I'll catch him and say yeah Tom beans, you know soya beans. When I say oh yeah, then I won't say soya beans. I'm going to say I'm going I get it. You I get, get me? It. So yeah. that's the whole thing that okay. I'm trying to speak okay. about. So Man, it's all I'm opinions here. until, you know, the creator. Yeah. Okay. Now let's, yeah. let's look at how you, you were able to penetrate the Nigerian market with, yeah. with this song. How do you think that has helped your career? Um, 100%. It has really helped my career. Nigeria is more like the biggest Afrobeat market mm. and it would have been stupid of me not to go to Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it would have been really like like I would have been taking food from my plate. Like Matthew. Yeah, I would have been marginalizing myself okay. not going to Nigeria. I went into Nigeria and I realized that bro that was one of the biggest things to happen to me in twenty twenty two. Mm. And I, I told myself that it's something that I'll do all the time. Okay. Yeah, because um my market is soon and uh, when you look at the consumption rate, the patronage of music, it's, it's on a different level okay. rather than Ghana. Okay. So I, I, I kind of like see that, okay, if I have like a million fans, like me and say, okay, fine, Camilo, if I drop a record in a month and I can be able to make like 500K from like my fan base, in Ghana in a month. 500k if I, as in 500,000. 500,000 streams in a month. If I see that okay, that's what streams. I can make okay. in a month, then, and I go to Nigeria, imagine, I'll be making like times five of that or times okay. six. Okay. And that is only doing me more good than harm. Mm. You know, I feel like the market is open. Or if you want to go there, I, they are ever willing you to like, go there yeah. to accept yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, we've had a lot of messages or stories coming out that um, it's difficult to penetrate the Nigerian market. And even when you do the song, Nigerians are not going to play your song, but mm -hmm. always they come to Ghana and in mm -hmm. Ghana, we make it easier for them. Some some of your colleagues, musicians, actually go as far as insulting media people mm. that we give access to Nigerians to come into our country and, 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 and dominate or, um, let me use the word, to dominate our music scene. Mm -hmm. Some of your musicians actually think like that. I mean, I've interviewed several people who have made comments like this, but you are saying something different. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is that um, if you don't know, you ask. Okay. Like, I'm a foreigner in this country, and I'm like, oh, um, I'm trying to get to Bright TV. Mm -hmm. Fact is, I can't drive from wherever I am and just find Bright TV. Even if sometimes, like, Google Map or whatever it is, like, I come to Bright TV and, hey, who are you? We don't know you. What do you want? 
mm. you you have to make inquiries okay I'm, i want my music video to be played on here okay fill this form okay um we have to still watch it and see if it fits the standard this is the standard we like blah 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 blah. so should that music video not fit the standard the person would have to go back and reshoot and come back and fill the form meet all the standards and then the music video starts to play right. so now the people in nigeria will be like hey how did you get there it's like oh this is what you have to do and then you do that and then they also start to get their music videos being played on bright tv what i'm trying to say is that um that there's a procedure for everything if it, if it wasn't possible then we wouldn't have seen sacred's music video being played on played on trays or mtv so once somebody has done it it's possible for everyone to do it so now you just inquire oh then i was say like it's expensive i'm not gonna lie it's actually mm -hmm. like it's expensive to like be a musician in nigeria really because, as yeah, compared to ghana it's actually it's, it's expensive everywhere but then it's more expensive in nigeria what, what makes it expensive um it's a big industry okay do you understand it's a big industry so obviously like what people say that like people try to cover the fact that there's nothing called um whatever payola in it's here everywhere like mm. it's everywhere do you understand what i'm saying so like if you think about it like for example you guys take a charge to play music videos right so you pay Nigeria as well. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you charge for music videos, you know that if you are paying in Bright TV, what makes you think you go to Nigeria and it's free? Okay. It's not free. Okay. If you go That's to how the TV like, station Exactly. Makes money. So at the end of the day, like, it's work. If you just follow the procedure, you just get it done. That's what I understand. Because I don't okay. think that there's any preferential treatment. Treatment there. Okay. Yeah. But then, the, you know, some musicians actually think that that's what happens here. But then I know that Nigerians, they pay a lot. Yes. Nigerians They'll pay. pay. They'll, They'll pay. pay. You know, and <laughs> so when, when, when my TV station invites, or maybe a Nigerian artist approaches my TV station and yeah. says, look, I want to give you X amount. I yeah. want you to promote this for me. Yeah. And my fellow brother Ghanaian comes and says, oh, Charlie, you are the beg. Make you play, give me. For Definitely, I'll, I'll play the Nigerian before I come to Obviously. the Ghanaian. That's what a lot of people yeah, don't understand. Yeah, that's business before, yeah. before pleasure. Because that's how <laughs> we make money. Yeah. It's not for free, but... Yeah. So I just think that, like, we just need to make more inquiries. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah, and once we're ready, we'll be able to, like, I, to be honest, I want to see more of my Ghanaians. But when I was in Nigeria, like, recently, um, one of the media um, persons, mm. she was telling me that um, now it's even more, like, they're having more Ghanaians come over. Mm. You know, she's mentioning a lot of names, and I'm like, wow, I'm really happy to see that. And they're ever ready to, like, embrace us once, mm. you know, we push. Because even their people, like, there are people in Nigeria who don't get their music played. As in, in I even have my music played. Play it's there. obviously because they don't maybe meet the standard. They don't have they the don't, fans to promote. It. Yeah, music is like big business. Mm. Sometimes people think we just charge all these monies and then we put it in our pocket and then we're living. And then good. you, you but, look flashy. Do you know what I mean? But we pay a lot. Like music videos like cost us over ten thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, like plus. You know, so it's it's a lot of work. But mm. yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Many kami do nature chin komo. Yebe kwa kwaji abwa from krato sima. Yeba, yebe to ayen komo to chen so mister and kobia. Welcome back. This is the brightest track. Today I'm here live with Kamido, the top boy. Oh no, and then we need to train come on. Now let's talk about music videos. I think you're one of the artists that really churn out good quality music videos. Thank you. Thank you very much. You invest. How, what is the maximum amount that you've invested in a music video? Maximum. Um, 30, and I said the most expensive pounds? music oh, music I, video. Thirty k pounds. Thirty thousand pounds. Hey, they be trying thirty thousand pounds. I know we're gonna come away. Thirty thousand pounds, yeah. Which video of yours? Um, sugar cane. Really? Yeah. Do you know? I I don't want to say I'm dumb, but when I look at music videos and I see how they are sitting on the motor, I do like, oh, this one they said they born yesterday. <laughs> what makes it expensive? What makes it so expensive for people who don't have a lot of knowledge about what goes into shooting a music video? What makes it so expensive? I think you should invite a music video director <laughs> <laughs> to come and give me more insight. Well, Pretty much, you, like, you have a point. Because I'm an artist, so yeah, I really, yeah. but I can tell you for a fact that 
it's expensive. So how do you make the money back then? Because um, these are huge sums of money. Yeah, man. It's a lot of investment. That's mm. why people pray that. Some people will wait for their song to blow first before they will do the music video. Mm. You know? Yeah, because like... It's expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. So that's know? how come sometimes so. we have people release songs that they don't, they don't do music come videos with the video. And yeah, yeah. said the song is doing yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it, they come up with the video. Yeah, sometimes. Like, okay. But it's expensive. Um, you know, the clothes that they wear, the, the props. Okay. Sometimes like to even rent some locations, like mm. to pay for certain mm. locations. Mm. Some locations, they will not allow you to do that. So okay. you'd have to pay per hour, hour or whatever or something. it is so how so long that, will we do a sometimes you'd have to travel yeah. to like a, another country and you know you're gonna fly your whole crew like when i was making slow mm -hmm. um we had to fly the crew from mm -hmm. accra to takaradi okay you know over like three or four nights you know and then we came back again and we shot in accra right rent renting of like the equipment like all of these things are expensive, yeah, very, very expensive. expensive. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Expensive. So then you make the money through shows? Um, um, so a, lot of, a lot of avenues like okay. endorsements. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> someone's like, um, it's my sister's wedding. I just want you to pass through. Ain't, ain't no thing like passing through. You got to pay for me to pass through, bro. <laughs> but Camilo, you know, say me, yeah, you yeah, owe me that one. Yeah. Well. I beg you. Well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> exception, <laughs> I will pay, but it will be discounted, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But I mean, so mm -hmm. I mean, well, you have a point. Ghana for your pesa, you know, oh, Charlie, the film back could be money, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, anyway, so that means that there's a lot that goes into producing a music yeah. video, and sometimes to you have to take the money, like I said, even a from song, different, yeah. even a song, producing yeah. a song, yeah. Even a song, okay. there's a whole lot that goes okay. into it. You All know? Right. So what, what happens if you bring out a very good music video, mm -hmm. like Slow? Mm -hmm. Slow is a quality video, looking mm -hmm. at the video like a top notch. Yeah. I'm not saying that's the, what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, but if you bring out a video and it doesn't get the numbers, it doesn't get the views, the attraction and whatever it is that mm -hmm. you're expecting to get, what happens? Keep moving. Mm. You keep moving, move to the next. <laughs> like slow like we had to get the whole crew like you know um the costumes yeah, the, the costume, cars yeah they had to be made yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. you have to yeah. get that and go and rent um ghana national theater yeah yeah <sighs> you, you you pay for that it's a whole lot that goes mm. into it sometimes mm. we're on set just to shoot like a particular scene but just it takes, one you, it scene takes scene. you from morning to evening mm. yeah it takes so all of that. It's really so. very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's how come someone says, um, I think say was it somewhere last year or something? There was this con you know, conversation about artists and you say yeah, and you say young kwan was a boy was a whole other profession account. And I asked myself Elsewhere in other countries, you can be a musician, just release about one, two, three, four yeah, hit songs. Yeah. And you wouldn't have to even work again. Yeah. Because there are systems that actually yeah. work yeah. to favor the artist. Yeah. Whereas here in Ghana, no, I say in your mind, you're like a crap. You know, we are still yeah. building and all of that. Do you think that affects you as a musician in any way? Well, the systems we have here, looking at our royalties and yeah. all of that. And does that affect you in any way as a musician? Um, it affects I will mm. speak on behalf of like other musicians. Right. It may not affect me per se, mm. but it, it affects still me. Mm. I mean, because if he was in place, then he, I would have been like richer than I am right now mm. from Ellie. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I think that it affects a lot of musicians. Mm. You mm. know, some musicians like don't, because publishing should be able to track wherever your record is playing. Yeah. Whatever yeah. commercial yeah. purpose your music is used for, mm. you should be making money for money that, for, you understand? From that. And not a lot of uh, um, musicians have published. And you don't have a because when you have a voice over, you don't have a But you know, because those systems are not yeah, working, yeah, it, it yeah, doesn't. Yeah. But do you, do you think it's worth it? Um, investing so much, much in money? Music? In it, and it, it's like a we dilly dally. We can't do without music, to be honest. Then we then can't do without music. Yeah. Like me and Kamiya yeah. Dao, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there are some people who go through stuff and music saves them. Mm. And they come and DM the artist. Like, you yeah. know, sometimes I get that. You know, I've been dealing with this situation, but mm. your music, oh my God, your voice speaks to me, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. We can't do without music. Imagine having a concert 
or no like, music like, and just talk. To, uh, speech and prize giving day. No, no music. Into no kasai or katanasi and I had jina hodi. Then the next day, so we can't really do it without music, and it's right. really important that we grow as a people. We can't right. be seeing the same old things, you know. Gone in the days where we make music videos in studios, where like they create the it's a, it's a um, chroma key, so it's like all the things that you see at the background, they are are, fake. yeah, they are fake and all of that. But we can't see that right now because we've grown past that, mm. and the world mm. is already showing us now it's a global village, so yeah. we can see what's happening in like. UK scene, Nigerian scene, and you're seeing top notch music videos. Yeah, so wow, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you're going to have to invest Up in your game. And then, yeah. You know. yeah. So yeah. Now, let's talk about Slow. Slow is the latest one now. Yep. I love, love. Let me tell you the truth. When I when I heard the song, I said, you with me and Chimu. Yeah. I had to listen. Three times. You know, yeah. three that's the magic. I had yeah. to listen and listen. I said, Chale, the song they take me slow. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about slow. Yeah. What is slow about? Um, slow is literally me saying that um, or you know, it's generally everyone that wants to take their relationships slow. Okay. You know, boy and bow fear penna will start to say fast fast. And yes, I know so tenacity. Now, she wine a crap man. So tell me about your day. You know right, what I'm saying? Now, can catch you. Oh wow, cool! You look really sweet. Da 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 da. And sana, we stream kaka kaka. Now we call them. If they me patch, I say, odo di eno. Any first day na o share a mana gidi gidi sa. Any sana e eno. Or so boko boko boko. O she enjoy daddy kaka man na. <laughs> Add with your summer mouse car. <laughs> Free endorsements. Because when you say artists are not supposed to um, endorse alcoholic. Yeah, um, I know. But Jamie, you are you know. not endorsing, you are just saying. It's the same one she enjoys that your summer mom is a crowd. But basically, and then on top of it, that, is what, um, that is what slow is talking about. Right. It's just everything, like literally taking it slow. Mm. Um, but it's mainly about love. So, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah, the song yeah. is talking about. Okay. Does this apply to you? in your, your personal life um in my life too yeah i like to take stuff very slow like okay. i don't like to meet people and all of a sudden start asking mm. for kisses or that or that you know what i'm saying like yeah. you take it easy send me a photo right right you believe in taking taking slow taking it slow yeah do 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 yeah yeah do 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 that's that's slow in a way yes see do do do. Uh, I see. Yeah. I'm going to but now we know do do do. I don't understand what you just uh, said. When you go home, you can ask. <laughs> you can ask the fans to explain to you. But let's see. So far, how is Slow doing on the market? Um, really good. Really, really good. Mm. To be honest, it's doing really good. I think it's we're almost like a million on YouTube. Yeah. 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 I think it's a million on Spotify as well. Okay. As well as Apple Music, I guess. Yeah, we're doing well. Like it's doing really great. Mm. It's just mm. been a month, so I'm happy. And so, yeah, hopefully in December I can put out next music, like another right. song. Okay. Yeah, actually, this Friday I have another song coming. Hey, in about two weeks. Yeah, this Friday. Well, I'll say, I'll say slow, say one month ago. So and, and you'll so back. So, yeah, they're back to back to back to back to what back. What was this one about? Um, This one is a remix that I made of another song. Which yeah. one? I, I feel like you owe me a remix of Audio Love. That song speaks so much to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I feel like you should you should revamp that song. It's true, it's true, it's yeah. true. Audio Who love. do you want me to feature on Audio Love? Hmm. I would have to think about it. Then. No, maybe talk about like mind. a Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Yeah. Audio touch, Love. Yeah. Bim. Her. Ebefa. <laughs> Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, oh, because that was a song that I saw, it blew my mind. Yeah, and how yeah, the Ewe yeah. language, oh yeah, yeah, my god, yeah. I could okay, 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 okay. Like, I'll, I'll tell CJ, CJ's mother to help me. You know, CJ's <laughs> okay. because Audio Love, I think, is a good one. We'll yeah. see if you can bring it back again. Yeah. But it's been so fun having you. Nah, like always, I said, as always, so it's I'm home. And I'm, I really appreciate you guys always playing my, my music videos, yeah. always like giving yeah. me the audience, like yeah. the chance to come in. You know, talk to my friends. Say, you say, no, you're here. Who do rough now? Who you're here? So, oh, say, I'm ready. 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 I'm 
So yeah. I left a space on the beat, okay. like after my first verse and the chorus, I left a space on the beat. If you're an artist and you believe that you have them, like you have it, you have, you have the talent, go to my Instagram. The link is in my bio, Camido, C-A-M-I-D-O-H. Mm -hmm. Mm. download that one and record your verse you can do a video to the verse right, right and post right. it but make sure what you've recorded the audio is uploaded on audio mac mm. yeah i'm doing this alongside you know in collaboration with audio mac okay. so please if you're an up and coming or you know you have you're talented make sure you go to my ig the story and um, the, the, the link in the bio um click the link download the audio record your verse do a video and tag me on instagram or twitter or and facebook then you also upload but upload the audio on, the audio on audio mac and then tag camido hashtag slow okay and um i'll announce or we will announce the winner the three winners on um december 1st okay so you stand a chance of winning fresh studio equipment so you can be able to record yourself and you can also um get full support mm -hmm. of your music from audio mac so please this is one advice i have for you and also you know keep pushing never give up you never know where it's going to come from be mm -hmm. humble be hard working and keep supporting camido i appreciate you guys so much make sure you check out slow middle 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 upon the ten, y'all yeah man we are on tis <laughs> <laughs> okay middle will you wrap up let's wrap up with um the verse or yeah slow yeah I don't want to rush you with my love. Oh, do, oh, do, oh, do, oh, do. I take it do, 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 slowly. Oh, do. Yeah. I know they like to fussy my loving. Oh, do, oh, yeah. I take it do, 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 slowly. Oh, do. I'm going to make sure I put you in the vibe one at a time. Sip a little more. And if you want to do it tonight, I did for you. Yeah. Baby, I'm going to put you on a Dean vibe, I'll take you slow. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Charlie, that's how we be doing plastic. The love slow. If you listen to the song very well, it's deeper than that. But I love it. That's always thank you very much. Slow thank is you. available on all digital platforms. You can go stream and make sure. Say, um, he's left an empty, you know, thing on the instrumental, so you can record a verse. If you are a musician, whether female, male, whatever, you're a musician, you, you know that you're good. You click on the link in his bio. You can then record your verse and put it on the song and make sure you upload it on Audio Mac. You stand a chance of winning free studio equipment and also getting a full support from Audio Mac as regards to your music career. So this is a good one. You have to jump on the song now and put in your verse and let's see how far it goes. You never know. This advertisement is better than approved by the FDA. What's yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>